Hello, beautiful people. So my driver's side headlight went out recently and I just changed it today and I had a little bit of trouble. It took me over an hour to do it. It's just because I got stuck on the pin part, which I'm going to discuss with you. I have a video at the end showing how to actually do it. But if you want to know a step-by-step -step tutorial or like a video tutorial of it, please check out Gearmo Auto. That's who I use and whose video I use to do this. But there were some steps that weren't shown, so that's where I had trouble. Headlights that came with my car with the Philips Xenon HID D4R42406. It looks like this. They are the ones without the prongs on the bottom. I don't know why, but AutoZone, O'Reilly, they only show the ones with the prongs on the bottom. So you see this is the one that you want. This is the one that you do not want. I actually purchased these ones and they did not fit right. So just overview, first thing you want to do, locate your fuse box, take off that cover. You'll be doing this just so you can get more hand room because we're not removing anything from the car to do this. We're just sticking our hand underneath, okay? So this is what your head bulb light cover should look like. You're going to turn that counterclockwise or to the right to get it off and then you'll see this cover on the actual headlight bulb itself this is what it looks like in my car and then the prongs that I'm kind of pointing at here those are the ones that you're gonna need to push down and out on both sides of it to get the actual headlight out so the trouble came in when I was putting the headlight back in and trying to put the prongs in so that's what the following video is It's supposed to be quick in here too. Huh? It looks like it's going to be in the street. See, it's so quick for that. Three things. Why does it look like it's not straight on? Maybe it doesn't need to be straight on, it just needs to click onto this metal. Even see this little middle metal part? I think like it needs to catch onto there. Yeah, that's why, because it's leaning sideways. Huh. Okay, I'm like a pro with the clips now, clicking on and clicking. But it's not going in straight. I'm scratching this mug up. It's going in crooked. The pins are not able to pin it down. Look, this one's above it. It's going here. It's above it. Why? Why are you going in there straight? Okay, they're both above it. Okay. Is this the right side light? What all this trouble's about because it says the exact same thing. Okay, this is how they say it's supposed to go in. Metal part at the bottom. Okay. Metal part. Metal sideways. Metal part at the bottom. Right there. Okay, it's straight. Now, be straight. Straight. Now I'm trying to clip it. In. Shoot. I think it's on. Oh my god, that took forever. Jesus. Now we take this. Put it on top. Alright guys, so the problem ended up being that there were two places that the clips were clipped in. It was clipped at the top and the bottom, 
and I knew that the top part was unclipped. So I kept trying to put the light into the housing, but it wasn't fitting. And then when I would try to clip the clips down, they would already be underneath the bulb. So you need to unclip both ends of each clip and lift it up. Then put the bulb in with that bar, that metal bar facing down. And then it'll fit in way better. And then you can bring each clip down and clip them on either side and they'll hold it in. So that was a problem all along and it didn't help that it was raining and it was dark and I couldn't see into the housing, but it worked out without having to take apart my whole car. So I hope that was helpful for you and that you're able to get it done. If I need to make a full tutorial in the future, let me know, but I didn't because of the circumstances of the environment that I was working in. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and it was helpful. Thank you. Bye.